Danao's successful soup business started to attract attention from her friends. John and Mark have been looking for jobs for themselves for a long time. They spoke to Danao and realized that it is possible to give themselves a job as well, just as Danao had done. John and Mark spoke with Danao about some ideas of how they could give themselves a job. They started talking about the people and organizations in their community, their possible customers, and what they need. There are lots of different people in the community. This includes old people, babies, small children, teenagers, young adults, people getting married, and even sick people. The organizations in the community include churches, sports clubs, stockfells, shops, factories. They realized the people and the organizations in the community would probably need different things. John and Mark made a list of items that are important to the people in the community, including security, education, food, shelter, entertainment, exercise, and status. They then made another list of what the organizations in the community would need. This list included security, advertising, advice, food, shelter, entertainment, and events. Deneo suggested that John and Mark should think about what would make a good customer. After talking about it, they decided that there are three things needed for a good customer. A good customer needs something that you can provide. A good customer is able and willing to pay for what you can provide. And a good customer is close enough for you to provide what is needed easily. Deneo also reminded John and Mark that something else is needed for a good customer. John suggested that they must know if they will have many customers who will buy from them often, or a few customers who will buy a lot of what they are selling less often. Mark added that they must also know if they have the right inputs. In other words, do they have the skills and other things needed to produce the outputs? They also realized that they need the right inputs. Deneo reminded them that they must be able to sell their product or service for more than what it costs them to provide. They must make enough money to pay themselves a wage. John, Mark and Deneo thought about what they need if they are going to sell to an organization. They realized that organizations have some additional needs. Organizations will usually buy much more than a single customer. Organizations want to know that they will always get the same good quality and that they will not be let down. In other words, organizations must know that their suppliers are reliable and will always supply what they need when they need it. Because organizations are more likely to buy large quantities, they will probably want to pay less for the items. How will this affect how much money John and Mark can make? And will they be able to pay themselves a reasonable wage? After discussing it, John and Mark realized that there are lots of young people in the community, many of whom are old enough to learn to drive. They also know that most of the young people in the community are able and willing to pay them to teach them how to drive. Because they will be teaching the people in their own community, it will be easy to get to the people who want to learn to drive. Learning to drive will also make it easier for them to find a job for themselves. John and Mark decided that they could teach young people how to drive by giving them driving lessons. They thought that they could charge 100 Rand for one hour lesson. John and Mark thought about their inputs and what they need. John has a good car, and both he and Mark are good drivers. This means that they have the skills, ability to drive well, and the tools, car, for the process, driving lessons. The cost to provide the driving lessons is the petrol for the car and cleaning materials to keep the car nice and clean. These costs will be less 
than what they will be charging their pupils for the lessons, which means that there will be enough money to pay themselves each a wage. Once they had done their planning, John and Mark told people that they can teach them how to drive. Because they had done their planning correctly, John and Mark's business of teaching people to drive is doing well. They have been able to buy a second car and they are now able to teach more people every day. While buying the second car has meant that they have extra expenses, because John and Mark have planned correctly and carefully, the extra money that they make by having another car means that they are able to pay themselves a better wage. John and Mark have shown that by understanding your customers, who they are and what they need, and by making sure that you have the skills and the inputs necessary to give them what they need, you can successfully give yourself a job.